محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وسلم تسليما كثيرا رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري واحلل أكلة بلسان يفكه كولي ربنا يسر ولا تؤسر وتمم بالخير وبك نستعين يفتا وقال تعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا بني إسرائيل اذكروا نعمتي التي أنعمت عليكم وعني فذلتكم على العالمين وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحب إليه من ولده ووالده والناس أجمعين صدق الله وصدق الرسول ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله Indeed all praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We praise him and we thank him for his bounties and favors which he has given to us We say alhamdulillah all praises are due to Allah Our creator, our master and our sustainer the one who has given us life today to see this blessed day of Jummah, the day of Friday which the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said it is Sayyidul Ayam, it is the chief of all days, it is the Eid of the week and we thank Allah that he has blessed us to assemble on this day of Jummah we express our gratitude to Allah that Allah has blessed us to be amongst the followers of his last and final messenger, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We send peace and blessings on all his messengers that came on the face of the earth, and in particular the last one, Sayyid al the prince of both worlds, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'in. My dear respected brothers, sisters, and students, today, it is a special day, or rather, it is a special week for us at Ashtar Boys College wherein we are celebrating 60 years of excellence in education. This year marks our 60th year in existence as a college and we are showing shukur, or shukurana, gratitude to Allah. We are giving thanks to Allah for this favor that he has given to us at this college. But while we show shukr and gratitude to Allah, it is for us to ponder where we came from, what was our origins, what was the sole purpose of building an institution like this for students to come and learn to get religious knowledge as well as academic knowledge. What was the purpose behind it? And so it was the vision of those our forefathers in the past to build an institution where Islam will be taught to our students and also academic knowledge will be taught to our students so that when they leave at the end of five years or seven years from this institution and other institutions which they have created and built, that student will be a role model for society. That student will be such a student that will share the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and incorporating what Allah has instructed us to strike that balance between the religious knowledge and the academic knowledge. That was their vision. And today we are showing shukr and thanks for his bounties and favors which he has given to us. 
Sometimes uh, we as human beings, uh, we tend not to show gratitude to Allah for his bounties and favors. We turn a blind eye from those things that, are, that Allah has given to us as students, as individuals. The ability to see, the ability to hear, the intelligence, all of these are favors from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah reminds us in the Holy Quran about a community in the past, a people in the past, that Allah had given them so much of his bounties and favors. And today we want to examine that. So much of bounties and favors Allah had given to them. And Allah is speaking about the nation of Banu Israel, the children of Israel. And Allah says in chapter 2 of the Holy Quran, verse number 47, He says, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ Ya Bani Israel, Ithkuru Niamati Alati An Amtu An Amtu Alaykum Anni Fadaltukum Ala Al Alameen. Allah says, Remember, O children of Israel, and the children of Israel form Israel is actually in the Bible as well. The story, this incident comes. And from the Bible and in the Holy Quran, it tells us that Israel was the name of Jacob, Yaqub alayhi salatu was salam. And he was the son of Isaac or Ishaq. And Ishaq was the son of Prophet Abraham, who is known as Khalil Allah, the friend of Allah, Father Abraham, as he is commonly known us. Yaqub alayhi salatu wa salam of Prophet Jacob, he had 12 sons. And these 12 sons formed the children of Israel, Banu Israel, the children of Israel. And Allah is referring to them, Allah says, O children of Israel, remember my favors, my bounties, which I have given to you. And Allah tells them in the Holy Quran that I have sent Prophet Moses and his brother Harun or Aaron to them to take them out from that bondage of Pharaoh and carry them into the other side, striking the staff. Lo and behold, there were 12 pathways in the ocean, parted 12 pathways for them to go to the other side. Allah says, remember that favor when you crossed the ocean and you went to the other side. And you were looking and fear on his army came inside of the ocean. And we drank fear on his army in front of your eyesight. Remember that favor. And when they went on the other side, Allah is reminding them again. They become very thirsty as a people. Allah inspired Prophet Moses, Prophet Musa to strike the rock and there were 12 streams of water that was gushing out. Each tribe had their own stream of water to take from. Look at the bounties and look at the blessings. Prophet Moses, he went up on the Mount Tour and he started to pray to Allah in Shukrana and giving thanks to Allah for this bounty that he has given the children of Israel. But the children of Israel, they took a calf at that point in time in the wilderness. They took a calf as worship, something besides Allah. Allah became very angry with them because he has given them so much of his bounties and favors. But then Allah forgave them of their mistakes. And Allah gave them food from Jannah, paradise. Imagine the children of Israel, they were given food from Jannah, paradise called manna and salwa. They were given that food, that special food. And they told Moses, Oh Moses, we are fed up with this food that we are getting from Jannah, paradise. Please tell your Lord to give us something else. 
We want the vegetables of this world. They were asking for the vegetables and the fruits of this world rather than the fruits that they were getting from Jannah, from paradise, from heaven that they were given. And each time Allah has given them something, some bounty and favor, the children of Israel, they became very ungrateful. They didn't show gratitude or thanks to Allah for what they were given. They were the only people that were given food from Jannah paradise. So Allah says, Ya Bani Israel, Kuru Niamati, Alati Anam Tualekum. O children of Israel, remember all of these favors which I have given to you. Wa anni fadal tu kumalal alameen. And remember when I made you the most beloved people in my eyesight out of the whole creation that I've created of mankind. The children of Israel, they were most beloved to Allah. But what happened? Allah took away those favors. Why did Allah took away the favors from the children of Israel? What caused Allah to take away that favor from the children of Israel? So much of bounties and favors which we have outlined food from paradise, stream of water to drink from. Allah saved them from that tyrant ruler Pharaoh. All of these favors and bounties and favors Allah has given them. What caused Allah to take away these favors from them? And it is only one thing, ingratitude to Allah. When they showed ingratitude, for what Allah had given to them, when they didn't show thanks to Allah, for what Allah had given to them, Allah took away those favors. And I want to bring that in comparison to where we are 60 years later, as an institution. We learned during the course of this week, here at Ashtar Boys College, that our institution, when it started, it started at a masjid. And then it came here, on Park Street. And we thank Allah because look at where it started from a masjid, the barakah, the blessings. You know, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, the people who pray in the masjid, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will cause that earth to speak on the day of judgment. The places that they make sijda, prostrate to, Allah will cause that earth to speak on the day of judgment and it will say, Oh Allah, send this individual to paradise because they made prostration upon me. They placed their heads upon the earth upon me, giving you thanks, Allah. Look at where it started from. My masjid came here. When it came here, it started as a private institution. Students had to pay. 60 years later, we don't have to pay for education. We don't have to pay for meals. All of these facilities are free to us. But sometimes we show ingratitude to the bounties and favors that Allah has given to us. And what are some of those bounties and favors? Sometimes we disrespect the knowledge that is given to us. When Islam tells us that knowledge, it is compulsory upon us from the cradle to the grave to seek that knowledge. Ilm is a knowledge from, is a blessing from Allah. It's a bounty, it's a favor. This is why the Holy Prophet وسلم, he says, al ilmu nurun. And that is one of the girls' motto. Knowledge is light. In other words, knowledge lights the way to paradise, to Jannah paradise. It distinguishes right from wrong. It helps an individual to distinguish the right from the wrong. That is what knowledge does. And with knowledge it comes wisdom. So that you know to execute and implement that knowledge that you have give, given. But sometimes we disrespect that knowledge. 
And when we disrespect that knowledge, Allah takes the understanding of that knowledge from us. So sometimes we, we see in, our, in ourselves why it is that I cannot understand the mathematics or the maths or the grammar or the English or the science that is being taught to me. Why it is? Perhaps it is the disrespect that we have towards the knowledge that we should disrespect. And one of the greatest disrespect is that we disrespect the teacher first. We disrespect the teacher. Which our scholars say that when we disrespect our teachers, we devoid ourselves of that knowledge. We deprive ourselves of that knowledge that is being given from that teacher to us. Because who is the teacher at the time of the Holy Prophet ﷺ? In fact, Allah was the teacher. And Allah was sending the angel Jibreel والسلام, to teach the Holy Prophet ﷺ. And when that revelation will come to the Holy Prophet وسلم, and the Holy Prophet Muhammad, he would recite that revelation. The companions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, they will sit in a position that is respectful in the tahiyat position, the position that you do in the sitting period in your prayers. Utmost respect for that knowledge. And then they will sit down, they will listen to it. The Holy Prophet وسلم, will repeat it three times, and then after they will recite it, and they became very knowledgeable in Islam. So today we show disrespect to that knowledge. And there are a few things, two lessons that I really want us to learn from this incident of the children of Israel. One, is that we must show gratitude to Allah on a daily basis for what we have, for the knowledge that has been given to us. Whatever facility that has been given to us, we show, we're supposed to show gratitude to Allah for it. Because you know why? If we don't show gratitude to Allah, Allah will take away that knowledge from us. Allah will take it away and give it to somebody who will understand it, who will appreciate it, and who will benefit from that knowledge. This is why the Holy Prophet Muhammad he says, when you ask for Allah to increase you in knowledge, ask him for ilmun nafia, beneficial knowledge. Allah grant me beneficial knowledge that it will be a knowledge that will be benefit not only for me, but for people who I will interact with, people who I will be with. So let us not show ingratitude to the knowledge that we are getting. And secondly, let us appreciate that our institution has come very far, has come a very long way. We must pay tribute to our forefathers who had that eyesight to build us such an institution where we are sitting now and we are benefiting. And it shows us that when we do something and we work for Allah, and whosoever will strive for Allah and do good for Allah, then Allah will re multiply that reward for them. A reward that will, they will never ever think about. And so today I remind myself and I remind you, let us appreciate what we are given. Let us appreciate as we celebrate 60 years of anniversary as an institution. Let us appreciate the knowledge, give thanks to the knowledge that we are receiving. For it will be a benefit for us in this world as well as in the hereafter. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless us. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant us and our institution barakah and blessings. We pray that Allah will forgive and have mercy and bless our forefathers who have come before the eyesight and the vision that they had. And we pray that Allah will bless us as students who will be graduates of this institution. And those of us who are working in this institution, we pray that Allah will give us the, the ability, the strength, the wisdom, the knowledge to impart beneficial knowledge, that it will be a means of guidance for our students, so that when they leave our institution, it will be a form 
of goodness. They will have some people will benefit from it, inshallah, and they will benefit from it in this world as well as in the hereafter. Amin ya Rabbal Alameen. Akulu kawli haza wa astagfari wa lakum fastagfirhu inahu wal kafuru rahim wa akhiru da'ana walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.